up and what's good party people it's your host of the most Paul K2 coming at you outside on a beautiful December day in Austin Texas on South Congress Street I'm about to go thrifting and hit up some vintage shops to show you guys what they have over here a lot of these shops are more expensive but I'll see if I can find anything right now I'm about to shoot across the street go to St. Vincent de Paul I don't know if you can see that this camera has horrible zoom but about to go in that uh, first store and see what's going on in there all right, so there's the first place I'm shooting into, St. Vincent de Paul right now, Vintage Boutique and Thrift Store. We'll see what they have. A bunch of hats. Dope hats they have. They have this Ed Hardy one. Uh, this chemical blending service right here. I like it because it got the floor. They also got the desert storm. Like olive leather outer wear like coat thing. Super dope. She knows pearl snap shirts. Pretty sweet. This is like super cool. I love pearl snap shirts. Pretty sweet. This one's really cool. Look at that. Uh, dope. UT uh, varsity jacket. Really cool. Don't know who it's by though. The tag's ripped out, but this thing is pretty sick. Denim Arizona jacket. With all this stuff embroidered on the back. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. Uh, Navajo kind of print, like coat. This thing's dope. I might cop it's like six bucks and fifty cents. Pretty sick. NFL sheets on deck. Pretty dope. They got the Oilers on there, so you know it's vintage. Pretty uh, dirty and faded looking though, but still cool. And then they also got the Batman and Robin fabric on deck. Real sick. This little dude's pretty sweet. Over here hustling, slinging some money, some some uh some kilos. Got some matches and some cocoa puffs on deck. Look at Check out these soccer trophies. They're like extra dope. Like look at the graphics on it. So freaking sweet. It's like hilarious. Pretty freaking sick. Lame, 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 lame. All right, what's good? Super sunny. My eyes are probably like really squinty because it's extra sunny right now in my face. But what I copped from that store was a $19.99 Nokia Sugar Bowl. I like the side little patch with A&M, gross, and Ohio State. But uh, still a cool vintage find, so I had to cop it by American Needle. And then I also got this random like hat because I like the blue like floral stuff on the brim. I like cutting those off and putting them on other hats. So another sick little find, two bucks and 17 cents for both. So uh, now I'm headed off to some more thrift stores. Now I'm shooting in a new Bohemia right here, which is an expensive uh, like resale shop with really dope gear. So we'll see what I can find. Look at this sweater, this thing is sick. You got the ducks embroidered in there, flying around. Hella dope. This wheat freaking sweatshirt. This wolf on it, 26 bucks. <laughs> thing is dope. Remember when I found this shirt, guys? Remember when I found this exact same shirt in blue? They want 24 bucks for a shirt I got sick for six bucks. Tripping. Check out this crazy freaking shirt. Look at the print on that. Sick. Cool button up with like print in it. It's kind of crazy how they actually like did these all over prints back then. Look at that. This shirt is super dope. 32 bucks. This thing is sick. Crazy like 70 shirt. This thing is dope. Like 70s 
Sears, Yankees, like varsity little baseball jacket. This thing is super dope. They want 42 bucks for it. Super sick. And then they backdoor it with this Corvette jacket. Size small. Bomber jacket. They want 50 bucks. Kind of pricey. It's super sick. Like that Gucci scarf. Oh boy. It's like 22 bucks though. This thing is hella awesome. Sweet dead stock Mickey Mouse shirt. Arrow Mickey. It's by Mickey and Co. The shirt is freaking sick. I want 24 bucks for it. Wow. Yo, so check it. I'm leaving New Bohemia right now. And this guy, this really swole like black dude is just like walking around with this shirt off. Just came up to me and was like, yo dude, I really like your style. And I was like, hell yeah, son. So, you know, people appreciate it out here. Even though he's being a minimalist, not even wearing a shirt or anything. He still appreciates us shirt wearing, hat wearing, you know, boot wearing motherfuckers, so uh, mofos. So yeah, now I'm about to hit up a couple more thrift shops and we'll see what else they got. Been to prototype vintage men and women's apparel. This is where vintage shops start tripping is when they think that these like trucker hats are what's cool no you gotta have the dead stock logo 7 son this is hella dope Denver 1985 really sweet back door with the polar bear on the wall heck yeah the vibes the best they got a lot of cool jackets all like hella overpriced you know how it goes let's see how much this jacket is remember I got two of these for three bucks each Wow. Wow. A lot of button ups. They want 28 bucks for this one tripping. And probably all these, which aren't that great. Michigan Wolverines crew neck. Really dope. They want 28 bucks. It's pretty much brand new, so that's alright. Vintage heads. They got this dope Minnesota Twins right here. For six bucks. Not bad, actually. Size XL. Cash shirt right here, super sick. Twenty six. Thing in the store, you got this Albuquerque, New Mexico, like Native American print gray T-shirt for twenty six bucks. Double sided. Thing is sick. Two can, two can, two can, two can. All right, y'all. So I'm leaving Prototype. They uh, had hell expensive stuff, and they marked some of it down. For like eight bucks marked down. So like they had t-shirts for $18 that were like faded. So anyways, uh, I asked the chick if the prices were negotiable. She's like, not if they're already marked down. And I was like, ma'am, I came here four months ago. And these things are still here. So yeah, I mean, some of these places are tripping with their prices, but it's all good, I guess. So anyways, we'll see what else is going on. I'll pop in here. There's some cool looking stuff outside. It's pretty sweet. Dude, look at this. Sweet. Got a longhorn head in here. Lion shirts. Look at this chick. Real cool. Real dope Hawaiian shirts. Real dope, dead stop. Off the wall. All right, so I just left. Off the wall, they had some sweet stuff in there, man. Really awesome. Uh, yeah, there's a super nice old lady in there. So it was sweet. She almost, she made me want to buy something. Just because she was so like genuinely friendly, I was like, dang, this old lady is so cute and friendly, I wanna buy something. But no, their stuff was hella expensive. And she was like walking around talking to me, so I was trying my best not to record in her face. 
Hello, sexy lady. And y'all thought this was over, son. No, sir. Me and this boy, Steven. <laughs> it's going to save us right now to do some more thrifting. And she's going with us because she bad and she know it. <laughs> Parking spot we always wanted. Alright, you just look like a black blob right now. <sighs> Which is about accurate. Alright, I'm popping into Savers right now. Got this Calabasas boy with me. Looking like my dad. <laughs> my dad's blonde. No. Alright, yo. Up in this thing, found this really dope American strap back. Check out all these hats they have. They have like a million freaking dope hats. Braves hat. Chicago. But yeah, and then they backdoor it with these sick ties. They got that dope Scooby tie with chili peppers. They got this Paisley tie. And they got this sick Marvin the Martian tie. Super, super dope. Take weight. Oh, so I'm leaving the nursing home and it's time to work out. One hand. <laughs> oh, I think I made it go off. Got <laughs> a Tupac and Biggie shirt. You wanna try this on, bud? Let's see what's on the other side. <laughs> Right here, the little baby squirt swimming away from the father turtle. What's the what's the dad's name on? What's the dad's name on Finding Nemo? I don't know. Y'all can leave that in the in the comment section below. It's a pretty sweet little sexy shirt. I'm trying to talk, Stephen. Oh, nice. Cause it's Barack freaking Obama. The president's face doesn't come cheap in thrift stores. Back with that boy Fitty. We got some G unit, the full outfit right here. We got the, the little hoodie on deck. And we got the shirt. G unit. Yes. No. Okay, we just rolled up to Goodwill right now. Next to the half price books. We're about to go in. These are the last two things I got at the last thrift store in this tie. You know how we do. They have a nice uh, selection of Dude, crappy hats today. Little scarf scarf. Oh, you need this one. Uh, this tie. And all of the Goodwills. It lights up. Santa's it's like going for a while. evil, demented. There's like a little cup of stain on it. It's awesome. It's been going for a while. It's a long Erica wasn't trying to end childhood obesity. <laughs> Learning adventure. Oh, oh. And it lights it up. Lit up. There you go, little guy. It's on its last leg. There's only a few miles left. So as you can see, baller and ballettes, I was hella irresponsible and didn't conclude my video. And now I'm being even more responsible, hitting these two cats from the back while they play violent video what games. Up? Shout out to my homie, DJ Fold Pack, a.k.a. Miguel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching once again. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I know this um, video has been a bit jumbled with random footage and clippage and all that junk. But uh, yeah, more videos are coming soon. Stay tuned. Peace.